we'll have Coach Ray Allen a little bit and a couple of more players. So. Questions, guys? Uh, I got a couple of these real quick. Um, happy birthday. Yeah, uh, you didn't know I knew that, Tom. Uh, happy birthday to Trev Alberts. Um, also, uh, just injury update. I, I, you know, I know you guys saw guys that were in. Or, I know you probably saw some guys that were in or not out. I, I won't get into specifics of injuries right now, but I'll, I'll give you any you know year-long thing. So obviously Brody's out for the year. Uh, Maverick Noonan hurt his knee on Saturday, out for the year. Um, not a not an ACL or anything like that. Just um, just kind of a freak thing. So um, he'll have surgery this week. Be about six months. We'll be we'll be fine. We'll be as good as new. But. Um, Obviously, our hearts go out to both Brody and Maverick, so everyone else is trending on being ready, you know, if they're out right now. You got Marcus back. Yeah, Marcus came back and then got banged up again. Uh, had a really scary moment. Uh, it was his birthday yesterday. Had a really scary moment, landed weird, um, but should be just a couple days, they said, so we expect him to be back by the weekend. Xavier Betts, is he out there with you guys right now? No, no, he's, 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 he's injured right now. Any questions? What does that, what does that mean for your receiver? Just, you know, where you're at, guys banged up, how do you feel about the receiver? Right yeah, you know, um, I think it's a really good opportunity for our guys. I mean, receivers all along have been, hey, who, who are going to be the guys, right? You know, there's not a lot of returning production. Um, you know, when Marcus was healthy, obviously, you know, when, when he found out he was going to be healthy, it was really a big thing for us. I think there's a lot of opportunities for some other guys to step up and play, right? So, um, Everybody says they want to play as a freshman, but it's really hard to do, and especially in today's day and age where you're so distracted, like, you have to know how to learn. So, you know, we're giving some young guys, you know, Jalen Lloyd, uh, Jaden Doss are getting some opportunities to go out there and, and play, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll see where they're at. Like, they're trending in the right direction. Um, but Billy's, you know, a guy who's, you know, unbelievably productive. Uh, Alex Bullock's having a really, really good camp. Alex, you know, you guys know how I feel about Alex. Um, and a lot of other guys. So a lot of guys are taking advantage of their moment. So, uh, but that's probably of all the positions. That's where the most questions are right now for us on offense. We kind of know who are you know who the guys who have played, but um, that's 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 remains to be seen. Was Malachi out there? No, he he wasn't out there today. What kind? I mean, I'd, I'd like to be a big physical, you know, offensive line that can do a lot of things, right? You know, I mean, at the end of the day, we want to run the ball and stop the run, and we want to protect our quarterback and affect their quarterback. So, um, you know, we need uh, we need big, powerful guys up there that are smart and can handle all the looks. And our defense certainly provides a lot of challenges. I mean, they see a different different defense on every play. Um, so, you know, they're, they're they're training and they're coming along. I think, uh, I think the quarterbacks are playing really well. Um, Jeff has, has done a really good job. Um, you know, he's he's understanding situationally uh, what we want from him. Um, Chuba has made huge leaps, in my opinion. I thought he had a great summer. I think he's having a really good camp. Um, I'm really proud of Chuba. You know, we, we came to him and challenged him in the spring, and uh, he's been, done nothing but respond. It's a credit to him and his family that a lot of kids nowadays run and hide, and Chubbas took everything head on. And, uh, you know, Heinrich uh, continues to grow and develop, so they're all three guys we have confidence in. What, what Chubb, you say, you say Chubbas made huge leaps. What's that look like? Um, you know, John Wooden used to say, be quick but don't hurry. And sometimes when Chubb would play in the spring, he was like really quick and fast and jumpy and trying to be perfect. Every play, trying to, a lot of times quarterbacks, they're, every play, they're trying to show how good they are instead of just playing the play. And to me, Chubba's just like slowed down. Um, his feet aren't antsy. He's not kind of running around. He's not trying to do too much. He's taking what they give you. And um, I just like the way he leads his group. You know, they, they follow him. So um, he has all the physical tools, but just kind of letting it all settle down and come together. Um, it's not easy, especially when you're not behind the first offensive line. But Chubba's, uh, Ch Chubba's excelled. Coach, you've had some time to coach with uh, Donovan Varela. What have you seen from his coaching yeah, Donovan's a lion. <laughs> he's a, uh, you know, the standard is the standard for him. You know, he is. He he has his players back uh, to the nth degree, but he holds them to it. There's a lot of coaches who like, 
you know, I think most of our young people these days are dying from uh, the disease of like low expectations. Like we make excuses for young people. Young people will rise and meet expectations if you hold them to that. And no one, do, no one on our staff does it better than Donnie. Like he has these expectations from the way they report to practice to the, what, you know, the way they practice. So um, he's kind of the O-line coach I've been waiting for. You know, I mean, I, I love working with him. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's the offensive and the defensive lines, right? You, you, you can't be the type of team that we want to be if you don't have great offensive and defensive line play. And then, you know, add into that the tight ends and linebackers, you know, your front sevens. Um, you just, you know, you just never be built on a solid foundation. So um, what I would like to see is them to continue to improve and play well, gain confidence, and then also, you know, kind of begin to take over sort of a little bit of the locker room, a little bit of like the you know the way we do things. You know, when your team follows the O and D lines, you're, you're usually pretty good. Um, you know, I don't want to single too many guys out. I mean, Henry's a guy that we think can be a starter. You know, so it's always been a you know him battling to start, and um, uh, I think he has a really bright future. So, um, I, you know, I like his demeanor. You know, we, we, put him, we put him in a lot of tough situations to see how he responds. He always responds the right way. So, you know, I, I think philosophically, Sat, Donnie, and I would love to have seven offensive linemen that we know can go in and play. And then after that, they're all, it's all bonuses, right? Like, so, you know, we have some young players that are really good, right? You know, Justin Evans Jenkins is a good player. Uh, Gunner is a good player. Uh, Sam Sledge, for just getting here, is a really good player. So, you know, you want to have seven guys you can count on, and then, you know, if they're in that seven, great. But if you can make that eight, nine, ten, then so be it. You know, things are great. So, um, but yeah, I'm really, really a big fan of Henry's. I think he's, you know, a guy that's going to have a really bright future. Hey, coach, back to the quarterbacks. You added Luke Longo in that postgraduate camp. How valuable a pickup has that been? Just now that you have a fourth kind of quality guy to run scouts and do things for you. Camp. Yeah, we finished practice today, and we went for about 20 minutes. I think it was like 22 plays. With um, you know, with that third group, and let him take all the reps. And so, he's smart. He's athletic. Um, you know, we, we just want to cr uh, accumulate as many good players as possible, and develop as many good players as possible. So, whatever his role is, it'll be. But um, you know, he's he's uh, he's an athletic kid who, who likes football. And, you know, pra practices hard, plays hard. So, um, it just it makes makes our team better. Did you know about him before that camp, or did you find him out, out about him just because he came? Uh, some of the assistant coaches knew knew about him. Um, how exactly it happened, though, I, I can't say that. Our, our personnel staff does such a good job. So um, when he got there, you know, they, they all knew who he was, and, and uh, we were excited that he decided to come join us. Talked about how competitive it could be to get on special teams. Do you like how you know, top line guys are guys who are starters? How, how much they want to get part of that? Yeah, good good teams. Their starters play special teams. On good teams, your starters play special teams. But at the same time, you have core guys that play on all four, and that's their life, right? And so um, it's not like a consolation prize. You know, it's, it's, it's big, right? You're, you're representing the Huskers, you know? So um, I think our attention to detail on special teams, I think the amount of reps we get, I think the way Ed, you know, just to have a special teams coach, that's all he does, that signifies for us our commitment to it. Um, but I expect, that, I expect all of our players to contribute on special teams in some way. But I'm always looking for those guys like, hey, they're going to come in here, scholarship or walk on. It doesn't matter to me. They're going to be a, a key member of those teams. And, and um, you know, for the type of team we're going to be, like, we're going to have to win the turnover margin, right? We're going to have to win the penalty battle. We're going to have to win the special teams. We're, we're going to have to do everything right, you know, to have a chance to win games. And, and um, so I want guys when they play special teams to know, hey, I'm affecting winning. You know, like how I play affects whether we win or lose. Um, so, you know, we're, I, think we're, I think we're making that progress. Um, but uh, And there's some guys that have played a lot, and there should be a lot of competition right now. Like, you know, you guys can kind of tell, like, I, I don't want to talk too much about the guys not practicing because there's a lot of guys who are practicing. <laughs> and I love the guys who aren't. You know, just there's guys out there, like, busting their tails right now. And so um, they're the guys who are going to play on special teams, right? Like, they might not be a starter, but I'm watching some of these young kids, this Eric Fields kid, and I'm like, man, how, how is he not on four special teams for us? If he isn't, it's because some of those older players – 
they're fighting for it. You know, Ashton House, I'm like, how's he not on? So we have a lot of guys that I think could be elite special teams demons for us. I think Phelan is just here, you know, those kind of guys, they're, they're, they're uh, invaluable. You got practice at night and the afternoon later this week. What was the thought on having like an evening visitor or something that you guys wanted to do? Is it really hard to hear in here today or is it just me? And I don't think this even works as this show. So I'm like yelling in it, so don't make fun of me. Um, my thought process with three days in a row, like when I move it to the night, I get like eight more hours of recovery, right? So even in season, you'll see we go Tuesday morning and then we go Wednesday evening. So that extra eight to 10 hours of recovery might be the difference between a tweak and no tweak. So we do that for recovery. But also, I like to change the schedule. Like we're taking the guys to the, the women, the, women's, the women have their first soccer match today. So we're taking the men to the soccer game tonight, right? I want them to like wake up every day and not know exactly during training camp what the schedule is. Like we like being comfortable, we like we like rigid schedules, but the game's not rigid. So I like to change things up on them. So they, tomorrow they're like, what do we have? Oh, we have offense, left, defense, meet. And then, you know, it's, they just have to learn to adjust, right? So, um, but I also think we need to get under the lights. We need to catch balls in the lights. So it's being under lights. It's a little more recovery, and it's just something to change up the, we're kind of in that week right now where everyone's like, when's camp over? So just something to kind of change it a little bit. Entire team goes to the soccer pitch. Yeah, uh, you know, maybe, maybe guys that are in treatment or something won't, but the entire team will go there, yeah. But our women's soccer team is like, you know, like we, we have that Olympic day that we did and they're all out there supporting us, they're doing it with us. You see them in the halls all the time. So, you know, I was walking one day and I asked them when their first game was, because they're in, they're in preseason too, right? And so they told me it was tonight. So. Um, I thought my daughters would be here. I was excited to take them. They're not here yet, so uh, we're going to take the team. And, um, you know, like we had Coach Cook come talk to the team, right? Like, we, we just want to be around winning, and we want to be – we want we want to go watch the girls win tonight. So hopefully they play a great game. You launched episode one of that show last night. And how much goes into putting that together? And, and was that your idea? Somebody else bring the idea to you to do a show like that? Yeah, you know, C.J. Campbell uh, kind of heads up that area for us. Um, Jordan Litton put that episode together. I think a couple different guys are doing it. You know, Jay Litt, when I first got here, we didn't really have a creative staff in football. Jay Litt's a student here in Nebraska. He's unbelievable. Like, I've never been around somebody like that. I trust him, I trust him implicitly. Like, if you guys know me, I'm like, hey, I want to know what the show's about. I want to know this. Jay Litt, I said, do your thing, bro. Like, he, he knows he knows what we're trying to get done. Uh, Mike Wallace kind of is like the, you know, so Mike Wallace and CJ and Jay Litt, they came up with the idea. Uh, they executed it. They ran with it, and I thought it was great. You know, I thought it was fun. And you know, th this next episode, I'm sure they'll even have more behind-the-scenes uh, stuff. So we have to, you know, balance making sure the kids feel comfortable, our men feel comfortable. Like, hey, we're not giving away, you know, making them look bad. But there's a lot of good things happening. I want our fans to be a part of it. So this, I thought the show was cool. Being in the, the second week of camp, how do you talk about it? Being in the second week of camp, how do you keep the energy up, sustain that, you know, through this next week? Yeah, I just I show, I showed the team the calendar last night, like 8:31. <laughs> we play 8:31. There's 15 practices. Today was one of 15 practices before, like 15. That's it. So, um, you know, it's been a long time since Nebraska started off 2 and 0, 3 and 0, 4 and 0 on a hot, you know. So you got to do things that are uncomfortable to do get something you haven't gotten before. And you know, I'm not saying we're starting off hot. I'm not saying anything other than just if you want those things, you have to you have to do things you haven't done. So. Um, we're getting to the point, though, where we have some guys that regulate the temperature of the team. I've got Isaac Gifford now, okay, locked in. I've got Ty Robinson, you know. When I say I, I say that as a head coach. I don't have to do it anymore because they're doing it. I've got Tommy Hill. I've got Newsom. So we have a bunch of guys that are kind of like we go to team compete to start practice. They want to compete on offense. You know, I got Jeff Sims. So. Um, the players are taking it and running with it. You know, I just need, what I need that right now is the ones are here, the twos are here, and the threes are here, and I need these guys to catch up. And I understand that for some of these guys, it's the hardest thing they've ever done, but, you know, if, if you want to be a one someday, you got to do it. When do they, when do, they do the uh, single digit running? Uh, we do, like, a series of several. Um, so the first one will probably end up being today. Um, you know, we'll probably do it today, depending on if we have time with the soccer. It might, it might end up being tomorrow, but... Um, and we'll try to do it in two and three persons, oh, two and three person uh, uh, segments. Um, so we'll see what we happens. Roll them out separately, or will you wait? For them? No, we'll roll them out when they come. Yeah, like if we vote tonight and they announce to, then I'll announce it to the team, and then we'll let everybody know. Anything else? All right, guys. Thank you. Thanks, coach. Hey, question.